What's up guys, I'm Drew with 911 Strong. Just gonna give you guys a quick little video breaking down the deadlift, how I set up, how I initiate the lift, and how I teach it to my clients. So for the setup, you're gonna approach the bar, you're gonna be about two or three inches away from the bar with your shins. You're gonna put a slight bend in your knee, and at the same time, you're gonna hinge your hips back and reach long at the same time. So my knees are bent slightly, push back here. From this position, I'm gonna lower my arms and at least my fingertips should be touching at this point. So in order to get further down in position, all I'm gonna do is kind of pull myself down. From here, my knees should pretty much be placed right outside of, or I'm sorry, right inside of my arms. And this is my startup position right here. So before you pull, you wanna make sure you create tension throughout the entire lift. So to get down in your bottom position again, you're still here, hinge and back, reach. So tension, we're gonna push our knees out against our arms to create tension and torque in our hips. And we're also gonna create tension in our shoulders and our lats right here. So that's gonna create a, a safe upper back. That way our back is nice and tight and it's not loose when we're pulling. So how we do that with the shoulders is we're gonna pretend it's a piece of paper right here underneath your armpits and all you're gonna do is smash that piece of paper. So your shoulders are here, all you're doing is smashing, shoulders back, shoulders down, squeezing those armpits together so that paper doesn't fall out. So that's how you create tension throughout the entire body. Um, and on the lift portion, a lot of people say deadlift is a pull, and technically it is. I like to kind of refer to it as a push, because um, a lot of times when people say pull, they imagine they're pulling them their, with their backs, and now you're really using their lower body. So I like to think of it as a push to where I'm pushing the ground away to stand up. So putting everything together here, slight bend in the knees, hinge back, create torque, I'm nice and tight, my core is tight, my hips are tight, my glutes are tight, everything in my legs, everything in my upper body, and I'm just gonna stand up, push that ground away, and on the lowering portion, we're just gonna do an RDL, so push the butt back, as soon as the bar pretty much passes our knee level, at that point, we can kinda just lower down. Create tension again here, fire up. With the deadlift, I like to uh, personally reset every rep. That way you can create tension every single time and, and uh, once you start to fatigue during your lift, you don't break down and get injured. So give those a shot, let me know how it works, thanks.